So I'm going to talk about the heating element for the shot maker. Um, I bought this. It was ten dollars. I found that these uh, little cheap uh, apartment stoves will not get hot enough to cook lead and work for a shot maker. But by gutting it, like I had said previously, it will. This is the temperature switch that you see right here. By letting it hang out in the air, it's still conducting enough heat off the cooking surface to operate properly. So I have a little aluminum table that was made from one of my first aluminum attempts at casting. And it wasn't made for anything. I just had it sitting around the garage for a couple of years and then it became part of this project. So uh, one of the things that I'm going to show you that's kind of critical is the ability to change the angle of your heating element because the head pressure that develops when you start tilting this dictates how much how fast that lead's going to want to pour out of your shot maker when your lead is hot and it's going to be thin you're going to want to back off the angle when you're at the end of your casting session and you want to get the last of the lead out so all I did was uh, put a little tapped bolt through here and that allows me to change the angle of that furnace and so for ten dollars you have your heating element 